Yeah, just uh, want to say uh, congratulations. Just tell a story from the day you arrived on campus to right now. Uh, what's that feeling been like wanting to be a pro and now to finally be you know on your way right now? I mean, it's just a feeling of excitement. I mean, it's, it's a blessing to be here. So, I mean, everything I've been through here, you know, trials and tribulations, things of that nature. And just today was a blessing, you know. Got and, and if you could go back to your younger self or someone who was, you know, middle school uh, athlete playing football, what would you tell them to help them along the way? You talked about the trials and tribulations. What could you advise them as it relates to getting through those trials? And tribulations you know just stay on the path you know it's gonna be bumps and bruises all type of things just stay on the path all right thank you man best of luck to you thank you uh shakur here's mateus from time out brazil uh congratulations for going for the nfl draft uh a lot of a lot of scouts talk about your versatility on the secondary that you can play corner, can play slot, can do a lot of things. How do you think there's going to be a smooth transition for you in the NFL? Like what spot do you see yourself better like in the first year or in, for understanding better the game? I mean, honestly, I don't have a preference. You know, I don't lose anything playing inside or outside. And how do you think that the pro day can help your players? Like, because you don't have the combine and all of 2020 season was totally different. How do you think that the pro day can help your, your in this process of the draft? Um, you know, just type, show what type of player I am, show what type of work ethic I have and the intensity I bring, you know, my persona. Thank you, good luck. We'll go back to the chat now, and it looks like we're up to Matt Wenzel with them live. Matt. Hey, Shakur, your, your first two years here, you had uh, Justin Lane leave early as a pro. You had Josiah go. You know, you saw guys that pretty much came in a similar situation, do the same thing. How much did you learn from them in, in kind of taking the same step? You know, them guys kind of paved the way for me, you know, especially Josiah. He's my old roommate, so we used to talk a lot. You know, he helped me with the plays and – Justin was like uh, my big brother when I came on campus. So he helped me a lot through the path too. And did you get uh, feedback from the advisory committee before declaring? And if so, I was wondering if uh, you could share what kind of their, their view of you was. Um, honestly, I didn't even get it back. So I didn't Good. get it. Is there anything in particular you were looking to show today for the scouts? Uh, just my work ethic what I bring to the table. Thanks, appreciate it. Our next question about Matt Charbonneau, the Detroit News. Hey Shakur, obviously, you know, we saw how you performed on the field, especially last year. When, when you've played that well and you've shown out on film, do, do you actually get a little bit nervous in these sort of pro day settings where, you know, it's a little bit different where it's just times and stopwatches and all that? Is, is it different how, or how much different is it? No. I. I'm, I'm to the point where pressure is all in your mind, you know, so. Do you, did you tra train specifically for the, I know there's no combine, but a lot of the same sort of drills. Did you do specific training for this as opposed to just what you would normally do? No, it was the same process. All right. Thanks, man. Our next question will go to Chris Salar, the Detroit Free Press. Shaq, um, kind of wondered if you could walk us through the decision process. When did you kind of decide, okay, this is, my path, I'm going to leave the eligibility on the table. And what have you done since? Did you go elsewhere? Where did you go to train and, and uh, who have you been working with? Well, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about leaving until the second from last game in the season. Cause you know, I was just focused on the season. And when it came to the point, you know, I made the decision, talked it over with my dad and coaches. And then after that, I went to Exos in Pensacola, Florida. Then I went to Bomberitos in Miami. With with making that decision, um, I guess what went into it uh, in in your mind? Because obviously you have a year left, or maybe two, that with the COVID situation. You know what made this the time for you? Um, I felt like I was physically, mentally, and emotionally ready. Our next question will go to Alan Sanders. Yeah, just talking about your relationship with Justin Lane, I wondered if you've talked to the Steelers at all in this process. 
Yes, I have. What, what was that like? And in, in general, what have you been hearing from the NFL teams that you've talked to? I mean, it was a good conversation. I mean, I've talked to pretty much everybody and saw good things. Anything specific that you feel like uh, you wanted to show today or, or you wanted to accomplish today? Um, I, I went out there and gave it all I got, put my best foot forward. So. Thank you. We have time for a couple more. Uh, we'll go to Audrey Dahlgren with WLNS. Shakur, who did you talk to the most when it came to making your decision? And maybe, obviously, a big factor is your own to, to, to leave, but who maybe helped you and uh, talked you through most of the process and what it would be like to leave and kind of uh, not hold your hand, but you know what I mean? Who, who helped you the most in that aspect? I would say my father. Was there anything specifically that he mentioned to you um, that, that stuck out? Stuck out? Just, you know, weigh all the options. Okay, thanks. Our last question will go to Rico Cooney with Spartan Magazine. Hey, Shakur, congratulations on your day. Hey, uh, can you talk about if you had a little better vibe from one or more teams and also um, do you have any uh, visits uh, uh, set up uh, for any kind of, you know, uh, interviews or training? Um, we're not doing the visits this year because of COVID, the COVID situation. But, I mean, I got the same vibe from everybody, you know. every Everybody, it's, it's a lot of good dudes in the business, you know, so it's all good so, you, so just quick follow-up. So would you be doing, like, maybe a, a, a second Zoom meeting with teams? Um. I mean, through the process, yeah, we'll be doing more Zoom meetings and talking to them, yeah.